What dirty little secret do you know about someone, but they don't know you know? My old boss had 8 abortions, all fathered by her long term boyfriend who has been wanting kids for years, but believes he is infertile. My bill has a stash of used, dirty panties. That in itself wouldn't be that weird to me. But he keeps them all in a ziplock bag, locked in his safe, with nothing else in the safe. Just a bag of dirty panties. In a gun safe. I know this, because other Bill had to go through his room recently, to get all of his guns out of the house, that is a whole other thing with a whole other story, and he found the panty stash. I know that my old school teacher used to take bribes from parents to raise their children's grades. Had a friend middle school who legitimately had a crush on Spongebob Squarepants. She let me use her computer a couple of times and I snooped through her shit, and found her stash of self-insert Spongebob fanfiction. Found a couple of NSFW drawings as well. I couldn't really judge, I've had my fair share of animated crushes, but it was still bizarre experience. My neighbor is having an affair. She and her husband leave for work every morning, and she comes back with another dude around lunchtime about twice a week. I don't think she knows I work from home, and realizes how big their picture windows really are. Not really a dirty secret, but I walked into a person's house, and heard them, and their spouse getting it on in their bedroom across the house really loudly. I quietly backed out, and closed the door and left. This is someone who'd asked me to do some work for them, and I've been in their house many times, and they'd told me to come on in, and work on it, and I thought they knew I was going to be there soon. I knocked and called out their name, but their love making was louder than my announcement. I think I'll bring it up at their funeral, because they are a bit older than me, and their kids would get a good laugh about it. My older sister is my mother, a second cousin is my father. She gave me to her parents, who legitimately adopted me, and raised me, btw, they're awesome parents, but no one felt the need, to tell me who my biological parents are. I know that one of my friends is cheating on her husbands with at least 5 other guys. One of them is her husband's best friend. She does it for attention, and to see, if she is still attractive. She's 23. I know one of my co-workers once had a kid who died in a fire. She was really depressed, and had said she'd had to repair fire damage on her house. Quick internet search revealed the tragedy, I'll never tell anyone, don't think anyone else knows. A colleague of mine is a convicted It is an office setting, so there are lots of women around who might feel uncomfortable around him. Bowers knew about the rap either in his employment application, or in the background check, but decided not to tell the hiring manager, and blessed the hiring. A couple of folks did a search online later, only to discover there was a shit ton of coverage in the local news about the events that led to drugging and p***ing a young woman. I know a dirty little secret about myself that my mother doesn't know I know. When I was born, I was given up to a religious services group, but less than a month later, my mother, with the help of my grandparents, hired a lawyer and filed papers to get me back. It took a few months. My uncle, her older brother, told me this a few months ago, and I haven't brought it up with her. I don't know if I ever will. I'm not sore about it. In fact, it just goes to show that I was wanted, even if I was an accident. The people from the service came to my mother when she was still doped up on painkillers the day of my birth. Apparently this was a common practice in the 80s and earlier. When I was in first grade, my friend's brother in fourth grade wanted us to tie him up and embarrass him. We thought it was funny and played along, it was nothing so for us, but I remember his boner, and wondering how it just stood up like that. But other than that, I didn't think much of that incident. Sometime during HS, I remembered all of a sudden, and had a holy shit, moment. Now we are older and we are friends. He probably thinks that I completely forgot about that incident or maybe he forgot himself because there's no way he could act so naturally towards me otherwise. If I tell him now, he would just die of embarrassment. My 16 year old goody two shoes sister got caught having X in the car twice. At midnight I got a call from a cop asking if I was her mother. Sensing something was up I said yes. He loudly told me we found your daughter having X with a boy in a car. Shocked, irritated, but laughing at her misfortune, I drove 20 minutes to pick her up. 
I pulled up to the parking lot of an apartment complex and saw three police cars, lights still on. Not a lot goes on in our neighborhood on a Saturday night. Her boyfriend sat on the curb talking to one of three cops but still waved when he saw me pull up. Cute. A very serious cop with eyebrow way too plucked brought my crying sister to the car. It was clear I wasn't dumb on. Since I'm just a few years older, but my cunning small talk convinced him to let me take her home instead of calling our mom again. On the way back she was all too grateful for protecting her from my mother's unforgiving wrath. She doesn't know 6 months later and confessed that they'd been caught elsewhere last weekend. In conclusion, I'm the slickest coolest sister you could have and she is forever my bee. A colleague of mine is an attractive young woman in her mid-twenties and wants everyone to think that she's just a strong independent career woman. But I know she plays magic, the gathering online during her lunch breaks. I f***ing know your secret. My brother started the fire in our backyard that destroyed half the property in my dad's whole shed full of tools. The fire was centered around the very spot my brother had been sneaking out back at night to smoke, and he would always put the six out on the dry pile of logs stacked right next to him. I saw him out there every night cause my window pointed to the backyard, and I was planning to use the information for leverage to get him to take me to games top on Halo 2 launch night. But after the fire I kept my mouth shut, I could tell he felt guilty enough about it, since he spent the whole week after helping my dad clean up the damage and repaint slash repair what they could. I still got Halo 2 at midnight, so it had a happy ending. My friend's mother is a stuck up, judgmental, holier than thou, preachy bee, and she has no idea that if she ever takes it too far with me, I will nuke her and tell her family, community, and church about the bastard son she had as a teen that she refused to acknowledge when he found her. An individual I know is very anti-porn. Speaks out against it on Facebook, stops talking to people if she finds out they watch it, the whole works. Doesn't stop her from watching it with her back conveniently turned to the wall. She's also not as discreet as she thinks. I know of a case of a failed attempt at an incestuous relationship. A man had ex with who both he and she thought was his daughter. She was in her early 20s and he was around 40 or so. He saw her very rarely and the mom wanted nothing to do with him. Didn't want child support, nearly no contact. After she turned 18 she looked him up and they had a creepy bond. Neither really knew each other, but it was dad and daughter, so they tried to make it work. A few years later they ended up getting shit faced drunk and having a go at each other. Apparently also happened a few more times sober. They ended up both deciding it was too weird, and I don't think they speak now, but I haven't heard from either in several years. Turned out when the girl was around 12 the mom made him take a paternity test to settle an argument. It came back he wasn't the father, but mom lied and said the test was positive. She never told the daughter and the man believed he was. So while they did have a creepy father slash daughter's ill relationship and will always have that in their memory, they weren't actually related. The mother confided in me about the paternity issue. The father had confided in me about the incest relationship he had with his estranged daughter. My dad took my mom to an intimate French restaurant one year about an hour from home on a Tuesday night, since it was their anniversary. In walks a married cow hawker with his, the cow hawkers, not my dad's, secretary. The guy didn't see my dad, but my dad was pissed. My dad would use this as a lesson to us kids. He'd tell us that you never know who sees you doing something wrong so be honest, ethical, and decent. My aunt had a baby boy when she was a teen. To this day, my grandparents are not aware of their first grandson's existence and still believe I'm their first grandchild. The only other person she told was her sister, my mom. I only know because my mom told me. A female friend confessed to me drunk one night that her father once made out with her for a few minutes while they were on a canoe trip together when she was like 11. Slash she says that, to the best of her recollection, that's as far as it got and it was a one time thing. I didn't press for details. Next day she either didn't remember talking about it or pretended not to remember knowing I'd follow suit. It's strange because on the surface she seems to have a really good family. Parents are tight and all 
I've even been to dinner with them all since the conversation. Really fucked me up for a while though. I was sure there had to be some history of systematic abuse, or whatever buried beneath the surface. But damn maybe not? This is a morbid question, and in no way a sort of apologize for child abuse. But do you think that it happens from time to time? A father gets drunk, some hidden monster comes out for 6 minutes, in the case of him making out with my friend, and then never does anything like that again.